Thank you for joining me on this Thursday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields watching a few tropical waves in the Caribbean. I want to get to that, but I also want to look ahead to this little blob here and what's going on out here. Uh, the models are starting to pick up on some development, so I want to get to that, the overall pattern and, and why we could see these uh, kind of start to develop as we get into the end of August, potentially into tropical storms and hurricanes and why it has been so, so hot. I want to cover that all in this video to keep you covered. So uh, let, let's get to the big picture. And again, this time of year, just based on the trade winds, the global patterns, you get these thunderstorms that developing in Africa, trade winds bring them across, and then they come over the open waters of the Atlantic, which are typically warm to hot this time of year, and they are. That's just one ingredient though. There's also the dry air out there. So as these have been rolling off, we haven't seen much development out of them. So you get these thunderstorm complexes in Africa, and then they come off in into the Atlantic as tropical waves, atmospheric waves, not ocean waves, but then they get more organized potentially. But what's going on now is you see on this dry air tracker, all this orange shading you're seeing right here. Well, that's all the dry air and that has pre been preventing some development. There are signs though later this month, there's gonna be less dry air or more moisture. Either way you cut it, conditions will be a little more conducive to some development out there. So the pattern, I don't wanna say it's concerning because nothing's alarming because we don't have a hurricane out there. And again, this channel is not about hype or scare tactics or anything like that. But the pattern, I'll just call it a, a something I'm keeping an eye on at this point. High pressure is gonna be parked near Bermuda and kind of extending out to the west and that's not a good thing that acts like a fence so if something were to develop and again there's nothing out there right now if something were to develop it wouldn't necessarily just be able to escape uh, kind of out to sea uh, what would happen would it would either make a curve closer to the Bahamas and uh, Florida in the southeast or east coast of the United States or kind of kick its way directly into the Caribbean so if something does develop the pattern kind of takes it closer to land so that's what I'm seeing down the road so that is that is a bit of a concern and the other thing is the the water temperatures now a couple things with the water temperatures again it's been super warm but we haven't had a ton of hurricanes or anything like that but again we're getting into closer to the most active point of the season but the issue is if something develops if something forms and it works its way to the Caribbean, near the east coast of uh, the United States, or in the Gulf of Mexico, it could intensify quickly. So again, you need other conditions as well to get things going, but if it gets over this very hot water, it's been incredibly hot uh, in the air and in the water this time of year, that is a concern for any sort of rapid intensification down the road. You know it, you've been baking in this heat with me. Another thing, it's been so hot. If you haven't been getting rain, it's been so hot. It's because, well, part of it is because of the water temperatures. At night, if you notice, the temperatures aren't dropping off quite as much. That's because if you're on an island or a peninsula such as uh, Florida or just a landmass surrounded by water, Cuba, of course, uh, us in Jamaica, again, dealing with uh, the water all around, you have the very warm water, unusually warm, and that does not allow it to drop off as much at night. So then in the day, it's easier to warm up. Now, let me get to this, and then I wanna show you the big pattern and the timing of what I'm watching coming off the coast of Africa. We've had a little flare pair of rain and storms, nothing organized, and I always watch any blob trying to develop, but again, you see near the Turks and Caicos, Dominican Republic, this is what I was talking about yesterday, that we see that chance of flooding, and we are. Now, the tropical wave itself, the strong tropical wave that moved in, that weekend even more than I thought. A lot of dry air just ate at that. That's unfortunate because, again, I was hoping to get more in the way of showers toward Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, at least the chance of showers that's diminished again i adjusted the forecast uh that dry air just really ate at this tropical wave which is unfortunate because we need to get some rain in here uh for several reasons now as we go throughout the day watching scattered storms still that threat of flooding though cuba haiti dominican republic next couple days puerto rico we had some wild weather yesterday see a chance of some showers in jamaica but i was hoping it would be more of a blob of rain around and we're not seeing that so that's just how how it goes and you can see again uh, this tropical wave continues to move by and this may be a little bit overdone as well. I hope this comes true for the Cayman Islands where we need to get some rain in some spots in Cuba. Not so sure, but at least an increased chance of rain Western Caribbean by the time we get into Saturday. Spotty elsewhere. Now, as we expand out the view, this is what I'm watching again. In the short term, generally good news. There's no development out there. So just watching things. But as we go forward, this is, this is today. Let me take you way out in time. Watching the coast of uh, Africa. These tropical waves have been coming off. Some hang together. Then eventually weekend because of 
of that dry air. This is by the time we get into the weekend. Still, no signs of development, tropical storm or tropical de uh, depression forming. But as we get into later next week, and I talked about this in my August forecast, you could go back and look at that video, that the end of the month would be a little more active. This right here, they're, they're trying to develop, a, it looks like a little spin here. Now, talking about the computer models, let's talk about that first. The latest run of the American model, which is this, is picking up on some sort of at least a little development now. It was kind of holding off in the last uh, several runs, but now it's picking up on a little development. The European model, the Icon, which is a German model, and the Canadian model, so big gun models, and now hinting at least the GFS at some development. All of those are showing some development out of a tropical wave sometime next week coming off the coast of Africa. Where it goes, how it develops, we'll see. But again, uh, I'm now seeing that the models are latching onto that and that does coincide to what I'm seeing in the atmosphere. It won't be quite as dry. So there's definitely something to watch as we get into next week and I'll keep you posted on that day by day. Each day, I'm gonna update what's going on way the heck out there. Out here, little development in the uh, Eastern Pacific, but even if something does develop, it is gonna scoot its way uh, away from land. But Southwest Mexico, again, we've been seeing some of the rain and storms. So diving into the forecast, scattered showers and storms in Jamaica. Again, the heat is on. If you get no rain, it is going to be so, actually, even if you get rain, it is going to be so hot. Belize, I was hoping the rain chance would be a little bit higher. 40% chance on Saturday. Tropical wave, again, has been weakening overall. Trinidad and Tobago, we've been watching out for some isolated flooding the last few days. Rain chance kind of bumping around. There are some scattered showers, and even a few thunderstorms will be possible. Grenada, about a 40% chance. Uh, tomorrow, 50% chance on Saturday. Barbados, it was looking like earlier this week that today would be a flat out rainy day. Tropical way moved in a little bit quicker. And again, it weakened, it weakened a whole lot. So rain chance just on the isolated side. And that's the same thing as we get into St. Lucia, about a 30% chance. Keep me posting in the comments. And again, on the hot side, 40% chance for its left of today into tomorrow. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Cayman Islands again. Keep an eye on Saturday to see if that tropical way brings more moisture, about a 50% chance on Saturday. Saturday, picking up a little bit in the Bahamas. We've seen that today against Southern Bahamas. I was talking about that yesterday near the Turks and Caicos. Rain chance a little higher. That disturbance that's nearby, kind of the northern end of the tropical wave. Not seeing any development out of that though. As we work our way into Dominica, next couple days, rain chance 30 to 40%. We'll see that again, Guadalupe and Martinique. As we work our way into Puerto Rico, again, this is mainly thunderstorms a 60% chance later today, watching out for some stronger storms, passing shower possible, U.S. Virgin Islands and my friends in the British Virgin Islands. And then as we work our way to the Dominican Republic, it's unsettled now. This already working out. Again, there will be isolated flooding, watching runoff, watching the uh, the rivers carefully. Same thing in Haiti. Rain chance not quite as high as the Dominican Republic, but you could have a thunderstorm that's a decent amount away from you, and you get that runoff coming across the hillsides down into the river crossings, and that's an issue. So heads up in Haiti. We're going to see some stronger storms and the Dominican Republic in spots. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, limited chance, passing shower over the next three days. Antigua, Barbuda, same thing, passing shower possible and the same thing as we get into uh, Anguilla rain chance 20 to 30 percent through the weekend and even 30 percent St. Martin Saba Stacia over towards St. Bart's and even 20 percent chance in Curacao I was so hoping that we'd get a better chance of rain still a chance but I was hoping we'd get a better chance in Bonaire and in Aruba but again that dry air just ate at that tropical wave Costa Rica 70 percent chance of rain today tomorrow we've already had the rain nearby in some spots Guyana 30 to 40 percent chance up to a 50 percent chance on Saturday. Suriname, limited chance of rain today. It's hot. 20% chance. Northern Venezuela, an even 30% chance over the next three days. So again, we've got that tropical wave moving by. Rain chance will increase in the Western Caribbean near Jamaica, Cayman Islands, over toward Belize, Mexico, uh, Nicaragua as we get toward the end of the week and the weekend. Stronger tropical waves. That's what I'm watching carefully off the coast of Africa. The models, almost all of them, hinting at some development and again, more moisture in the atmosphere. So I am watching it. I'm gonna break that down further in depth for you in tomorrow's video. Until then, keep me posted in the comments, say hello, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.